You want to make hard boiled eggs, right? So do I. But we want it easy and we want the best method. So today I thought, let's figure out the best way to make hard boiled eggs. Ready? Let's go. Oops. All right, let's go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. There's a couple ways to do this. There's all sorts of methods that are like the best. But I thought we'd try two that I've read are the best. We'll see which one wins, okay? One of the best methods we're told, Beth, that word, um, is the Instant Pot. I'm a big fanboy of Instant Pot. We'll talk more about this while it's cooking, okay? The other method we're gonna test is a simple one, but I've never done it before. It's by my friend Kenji. Why, I'm, I mean, I, we're not friend friends, but I'm a big fanboy of him as well. This is his book that I really like. I'll link to this book below if you wanna get it. His uses a saucepan, okay? So um, the Kenji recipe I am getting from this article, How to Boil the Perfect Egg, I just, I just like what he does. It's just kind of, he's like, hey, let's try this and see what happens. And isn't that what Garden Fork's all about? I'll link to this article uh, in the text below here, but um, I'm excited. I like hard boiled eggs. He goes into a deep dive here in the article. So let me pull out some little quotes for you. Big takeaway from the article here. Um, cold water eggs show nearly nine times more large flaws and double the number of small flaws. So when you're peeling them, uh, the cold eggs, cold water eggs, when you peel off the shell, chunks of the white come with it. When you put eggs into hot water, there's less of that. One inch of water. Oh, that's pretty good. Bring that to a boil. Water boils faster if you cover it. Nice lid, huh? Okay, Instant Pot. Open the lid. Oh, by the way, this is a, this is a print I made of Charlie Pop on wood. Um, I have a video about that if you want to look at that. All right, one cup of water. That's boiling. Uh, if you have a steamer rack, you all have one of these, right? In there like that. Four eggs. Um, close that. All right, you have some various cooking times here. I want a barely firm yolk all the way through, so I'm gonna go for 11 minutes. Timer. Go. We want this to be a vigorous boil. 11 minutes. Okay, a cup of water in there, and then use the rack, or a steamer rack that came with that. And then let's take uh, four eggs. Can I get that without cracking them? Yep. Yeah. We'll put these in. Oh, that's three eggs. Okay, I can count three, four. I am not a big fan of these plastic egg holders. Egg companies take note, okay? Um, cardboard recyclable works. Why? Manual, pressure is high, and I want to set it for five minutes. Happy sound. Happy sound. This is Henry when she was a puppy. Um, make sure that you're set on sealing here. Okay, oh, it just stuck. You see that? Taste tests showed that steamed eggs were more tender than their boiled counterparts. And that's essentially what we're doing with the pressure cooker and the stove top is we're steaming them. So we're doing the right thing here. Stick around to the end, we'll do a taste test. And Kenji is not a big fan of the Instant Pot. Um, I am, and we're gonna see what happens here, because that's what we're all about. All right, turn off the Instant Pot. Turn that off. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes, okay? Still boiling. Couple more minutes. And my favorite science, my, my favorite sentence here references science, because science and cooking, Cooking is a craft and a science. It's hands-on, but there's some science. So science can deepen your understanding of the interaction between heat and molecules, between taste and pleasure. It can undoubtedly make you a better cook. Okay, uh, heat off. Put that not near the stove. Uh, we have to take these out of here now.
Some of you are gonna think, hold on. You're probably thinking cold water, right? Mm -mm. You could peel them while they're hot, let them sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes cause I gotta deal with this. Five minutes later, that was a natural, just cool down. Now I'm gonna open this up. I'm just gonna put a towel over that, like that. And we're gonna wait for that little pin to drop like it just did. All the way open. Happy sound. Boom, done. More eggs. Taste test time. Taste test. That's three T's. Instant pot. Regular pot. I'm gonna let these cool. They're still. Ah, those are. Well, my fingers are burning, but I'll do it for you, okay? Peeling is easy. This is still hot, but uh, I'm doing this for you. Wow, that peels really easily. No cold water, no ice bath. Nice. I'm um, slightly different. This, I mean, I've never judged eggs before. So um, in the world of uh, garden fork. So very similar. This feels a little thicker than this one, but Instant Pot. No yellow. Nice. How do you clear your mouth after eating a hard boiled egg? Hold on. Okay, stove top, steamer basket. This wins. This is not bad. This wins. This is nice because you can just kind of turn it on and walk away. Uh, heats up your kitchen less. So that's what I like about the Instant Pot. This tastes so much better than this. And this is the same carton of eggs. This is really kind of amazing. Let's you and I continue our time together here discovering cool stuff in Garden Fork. Should be a video or two right here.